what is going on guys welcome back to the channel in this tutorial i'm going to show you exactly how to fix your preview lag in vegas pro 19 because let's say that you upgraded from vegas pro 18 to 19 or from 17 to 19 or basically any version that you had that was running smoothly and right now all of a sudden your preview starts lagging again or the entire software in general i'm going to show you guys a couple steps how to fix that so if you guys are excited make sure to hit the like button down below also make sure to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss out any of these future videos about how to increase your vegas pro experience so with that all the way guys let's go ahead and get started with fixing our preview lag in vegas pro 19 right after the intro All right guys, so now that we are in Vegas Pro 19, we all have this struggle, this frustration of our preview lagging, especially when you're using transitions. And if you, even if they're transitions from certain plugins, that makes it really, really heavy. So of course, over the years, I've gathered a few tricks and a few like backdoors almost to bypass the lagging without like expanding something physical on your computer, like by popping in an extra RAM stick or something like this to improve your, you know, your preview. So how this essentially works is we're going to tweak our with just a few couple settings just to make sure that we will have everything playing as smooth as possible because of course we cannot get it completely flattened out and smooth and unless we have like a really really high setup when it comes to like you know having the most amount of gigas of RAM and having the most you know recent graphics card and all that this video that I'm editing right now in my timeline is shot on a Lumix GH5 on with a 12 by 16 millimeter lens and it is shot in 50 frames per second so it's shouldn't be too bad for my graphics card. My graphics card is an RDX 2070. I think it's pretty easy for the card to handle this footage. So as you can see right now, it plays back quite smoothly. It could be a little bit smoother, but right here, as you can see, it starts to lag a little bit. And that's because I also have a lot of color grading applied. So if I press Control Z, this is basically the raw clip. This is how I shoot my videos, you know, to have this freedom of just to be able to color grade it to the right format and the right look. So right now, if I re-enable the color grading, this is what it looks like. It actually is like a couple of filters on top. So all these, factors also play a role in how laggy your footage and how your laggy your preview is. So the first thing that we're going to do to increase our you know, smoothness in the preview is by right clicking on our clip. But if you have an entire timeline and you have already made a lot of cuts, let's say I'm going to do it, for example, like this, you have cut at your intro and everything is a lot. You're not going to go and like right click and hit properties on every single clip. What I would do is I would just go ahead and press D on your keyboard until you have this icon right here, because if you switch back if you press if you keep pressing the D key on your keyboard right here we can switch back between these tools so if you have this rectangle tool you can actually select all the clips in your video timeline make sure you don't have the audio included and then we're gonna right click and then right here we have switches and then we're gonna uncheck the maintain aspect ratio and we're gonna go back for a second and we're gonna go back to switches and we're gonna hit the disable resample as well so if I now go and click on each individual clip like properties how we usually would do it right now the maintain aspect ratio is unchecked the disable resample and that counts for all the different clips that we have in our timeline and you can just do that if you have multiple clips on different tracks just go and do it like this just go and press this icon and then you just want to move your cursor upwards to select all the tracks and then right click and hit the switches so now that we have done that that's actually going to improve it a lot because then of course it's not gonna also you know for things to blend frames together when you have the resample unchecked like this but of course it is still a little bit on the laggy side so what we're gonna do is just for the editing we're not going to export this out in the format that i'm going to set it to so we're going to go to the project video properties and as you notice right here my preview is also set to 50 fps that's not necessary to edit you know of course i want to render it out in the full quality the best quality possible but if it's just for editing and previewing a video like 720p is like 30p is, is fair enough. You know, we don't need to place this on 1080p, like 50 FPS just for previewing because we will just export this out later on when we're finished editing to, you know, render this out in the full quality. So let's go and place this one to HDB 720p, 24 frames just like this and then we're gonna hit apply and we're gonna hit okay and now our actual preview as you can see at the bottom it is downscaled to 1280 by 720 24 frames per second meaning that if we play it back right now it 
is a lot, a lot smoother because of course, if you're gonna play your back your video in 50 frames per second, that's actually gonna you know require a lot of power and that's gonna make it laggy as well. So if you just downscale it just for the editing, that's also possible just to make sure that your preview runs a lot smoother. And the last step I would recommend you guys is just to go at the very top right here and I would just place the draft on half and then it becomes a really, really pixelated. But then if you place the preview also to half, it's going to match it. It's gonna be a little bit more blurry. You guys, that's only gonna be your preview. It's not gonna look like this when you're gonna export it. So if I play it back, as you can see, it looks a lot, a lot smoother and we have a really, really nice fix preview lag in Vegas Pro 19. So once you have finished editing, everything is looking smoothly. What you're gonna do is you're gonna place the quality back to how you filmed it to make it ready for export. So we're gonna place the full quality right here on the preview screen. As you can see, this is what it looks like if I place everything on full. Then we're gonna go back to the project video properties and we're gonna choose our 50 FPS template again. Hit apply, hit okay. At the bottom, we will see our project. And then if we select everything in our timeline, then we're gonna hit render at the very top left to hit render as right here. If you pick our preset right here, as you can see, we have the 50 FPS GH5 YouTube preset with this equal sign, meaning that the quality of the video will be the fullest, of course, how we shot it. And that's how you won't lose any quality if you just want to make the preview in Vegas Pro a little bit less of a quality, just to be able to edit a lot smoother. And this is basically how to fix your preview lag or at least improve it in Vegas Pro 19. All right guys, so that's it for this video. This is how you fix or at least optimize your preview lag in Vegas Pro. It depends on the system you have. If you have like a video that's shot in 4K, but you're running on a laptop that's like an i3 or an i5 with a lot of software that's open or if the specs aren't too great, that's of course something that also plays a huge role as well, how powerful your computer is. And of course you can just tweak these settings. You don't have to copy the exact same ones that I have because of course my computer is different than what you guys have as a system, but just to tweak around with the settings that I showed you guys until it works the best for you. So that's it guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video.